Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, today's time again for DAX Fridays. So in today's video we are going to talk about search and find. Uh, we will explain both of them and we will explain the difference between them. So without any more delay, let's begin. Okay, so here we have a very, very simple table. Uh, it is uh, downloaded from Google Analytics, it's um, website data. So we can see how many people visited the website. We can see where the traffic came from and we can see the bounce rate. And this is quite a nice example just to play around and explain search and find. So before we jump into actually writing any measures, let's go to the Microsoft documentation and see what they have to say about that. So here we have the documentation from Microsoft and this is what they say. It said that search returns the number of characters at which a specific character or text string is first found, reading left to right and it is case insensitive and accent sensitive okay we will talk about that a bit later but here's how the function looks like and the first thing you do is you write the text that you want to find you can use wildcards and we will go through that too then you tell power bi which column it should look then you tell it where you want it to start counting and you tell it where to actually what, what to do if there is an error if it doesn't find uh, what it's looking for both the start number and the not found value is um, are optional okay so now that we know that, let's start playing with the functions and see what they actually do. So let's create a very simple one. We um, begin with search without the optional values. So we write search and then what we want to do in here is to identify something called referral spam. Referral spam is basically websites that fake uh, their data into Google Analytics and they pretend to be real sources of traffic, but they are actually not. You know, it's just fake referral. And what they do is just uh, PR for their business. It's actually quite clever, unfortunately, solution. And it's driving everybody nuts. If you're using Google Analytics, you know what I'm talking about. But um, what we want to do is to, from this list, find the referral spam. And these are the ones called Semalt. So we want to search for Semalt. And we want to search in the source column. Okay, the other ones we don't need to write because they are optional. And this is what I find. Um, I don't know if uh, I'm doing something wrong, but for me, it doesn't work to use search without the optional values. Perhaps Microsoft has changed that and they haven't changed the documentation. That could be something. But for me, it doesn't work. I'm going to leave it there for you to if you can figure out something else. For me, the only way to make this work is to actually have the start position and the non find found value added. And of course, we need to give it a better name, another name, not a better name. And as just, you can see, it's actually given us the position where it first finds the um, the text that we're looking for. So here is in position three, here's in position four, seven, and so on and so forth. So let's take a look at these not found options. You can write several things here. You can write, for example, um, one, we see that works. We, we can write, of course, zero, two. We could write blank and then it will leave that blank. Or we can even write 
now I can see the bounce rate is text is student, but as this is an example, let's count uh, bounce rates just as an example. So as you can see, it also allows for a function or a measure, which is quite useful. So there are a lot of things that you can do. What you cannot do though is to have text that is not allowed. It will give you an error. So um, anything else but text. Let's leave it at zero for now. So another thing that makes, or the thing that makes search so useful is these wildcards. And according to the documentation, there are two wildcards allowed. You have the asterisk and the question mark. So let's look at what those things actually do. So we are going to create a new column. We're going to call it search wild, right, wild cards and then asterisk and we write search and what we want to do now is we want to find only the ones that have four dots amount on okay the other ones we don't want let's say that it was just those that were incorrect so this is how you write it you give the asterisk on the place that anything could be so you say anything here but then it has to be four dots amount and then again on source and we want to have in this case we say we want to have blanks so as you can see it's just giving us the rows where that condition is met let's check out what the question mark does while the chords question mark search now as you can see here you see some alt and here you see, you see some alt. and let's say that it was a strategy for them to start changing the name a little bit just to avoid filters so we want to capture that too and the way to do that is you write sem and then question mark on the exact letter that you want to iterate and then smalt and there you write source and then zero we say and look what happens it found all the smalt and one smilt so it find actually all of them with just one search. So this is really, really powerful. So what else can you do with search? One of the things that you could do is to find things and say, okay, find this and do that. This is a quite common scenario. So I'm going to give you an example here of what that could look like. And in this case, what we want to do is to find the places where it says Semalt and music, because we know that those two are spam and we want to mark them as spam. So this is how we will do it. We are going to use switch. If you don't know what switch is, just make sure you check uh, my Dax Friday tutorial on that. I will post a link down below. Uh, but the switch is basically like an if and this is saying if you find some alt so if search finds some alt it will return the position where that was on so it will give us something bigger than zero right so if this is bigger than zero that means that search actually found something right spam if you find, let's say that music was also referred as spam. If you find music, target as spam, otherwise do nothing. That is, leave it blank. So as you can see, it's doing exactly that. It's really, really cool. Now, 
As you can see, Semilt is not in there, so let's add the question mark there. And voila, we've tagged everything that is spam as spam, so then we can filter out or we could uh, report on it or whatever it is that you like to do. Great. Now we have just one last thing to do. And we said in the beginning that we would uh, talk about find and search. Okay, so let's look at what search is. Wait, find. So here's the documentation on find and it looks exactly the same, but it says here that is case sensitive. So search was case insensitive and this is case sensitive. What does that mean? Let's take a look. So let's create a new column and now we write find. Find and we do the same. We want to find some alt on the source column and we want to have zeros if you don't find anything. And then it does the same as search. So what is the difference? Well, find is case sensitive. So if I write some alt with a capital S, it doesn't find anything. Okay. If I write search, let's do that. Search capital case insensitive insensitive. So we write search and we write smalt and source and zero. Let's do some space. So here you have it. Search actually finds the text with uh, with a capital S, while find could not do that. So this is an important distinction. Now I don't know if there are only any other in this distinctions than that. So if you know, let me know. This is the only one I know about. So <laughs> if you know about anything else, just uh, I would be really happy to to. To know, so make sure you let me know. As no, and uh, that's all. That's all for for today. Okay, so I really hope you find this tutorial useful, and um, if you like it, let me know by liking it or sharing it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below and uh, subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening.